The Fishing News is brought to you by Intelux Marine Paint and Fanatics of Ocean City, celebrating 25 years at the Jersey Shore. Well, we're finally here. We have the start of the Back Bay Striper season and winter flounder here in New Jersey and exciting news to pass along. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here in Absecon Bay where we have great news just like we talked about in the video forecast last week. The first bass of the year came right in here at Absecon Bay Sportsman in Absecon. Now the first striper of the season goes to Matt Calabria. He's had a 28 and a half inch fish that he caught on a clam and worm combo. That was up on the Raritan Bay Shore. But he checked in with Dave here at Absecon Bay and said, Hey, I've got the first legal striper of the New Jersey season. Raced down the parkway um, after checking in with the uh, folks at the tackle box. Comes down here, Garden State Parkway, um, drove into Absecon Bay and cashed in on the gift certificate for that first legal bass. Now, he just narrowly... By 15 minutes, beat Trevor Daniels into the shop here. Trevor was fishing on the Mullica River um, and had his fish a near 24 pounder. Now, now this is pretty funny because Trevor was about 15 minutes in after Matt, but they both got gift certificates from Dave at Upseekin Bay, one for the first bass of the year, one for the first 20 pounder. Really good news as far as this goes. It's very interesting because neither of these fish came from that warm water. Neither was a plant fish. One was Raritan. One was on the Mullica River. Definitely a really good sign. It's a good sign that as of Tuesday, beautiful weather, that the striper season is underway in that natural water. So it's definitely time to get loaded up with the clams, with the sandworms, with the bloodworms, whatever it takes. And uh, hopefully with that late run we had in 2015 that went all the way into January, that bodes well for something to happen in the spring. Talking to Dave today at the shop, he said there's some herring up the river, um, definitely some more action up river earlier in the season, so that's going to be um, a, a really good sign for the 2016 season. Now, if you pick up the March edition of the Fisherman Magazine, there's an article by Nick Honicheski about those top striper hotspots for March. You can check off Cliffwood Beach, and you can click uh, click off Mullica. We've got two of them locked. Now we've got to look for some of that. That warm water's already been locked, too. Next up for us is Graveling Point, the Brick Beaches, Cape May Point beaches. Um, also, you've got some opportunities down on the Delaware Bay Shore. If you're over in Delaware, look at Broadkill Beach. And of course, down along the southern exposure beaches at Fortescue. Um, definitely worth a look. Also up the Great Egg and along the Tuckahoe, Tuckahoe River as well. Now, that's a good thing that March 1st is here. So we've got the winter flounder and striped bass action because of course we lost TOG in New Jersey, at least for this month. You can still catch them if you're down in Delaware, you still have an opportunity to get out on the head boats and catch TOG. But for New Jersey, it's closed for March. We won't open again until April. Pretty cool because we checked in with Captain Steve Spinelli on Sunday, 11th hour togging, and he checked in with us. He was uh, running the big mohawk over the weekend. Caught a 22-pound, 13-ounce monster blackfish on Sunday. That was Captain Howard. You know him from the Sea Hunter and the Seahorse. So that was a really nice 11th hour tog to close out the, uh, the 2016 start to the blackfish season. Left them biting, though. So that's good news when we return again in April. You still have the cod, the ling, and the pollock action on many of those party boats. The Jamaica 2, the Big Jamaica, the Paramount. The Paramount here talked to Captain Tony Bogan, um, had one, a, a pair of cod here um, that won a pool. So if you're still looking to get out on the rails, you still have that opportunity. We've had some ice out action in the freshwater. Some of those freshwater guys are filling the gaps here. Bill Fentel checked in with Lewis Harbor Marina down in Delaware. Light tackle, pick, uh, light tackle pickerel and perch action, um, or crappy action with Captain Walt down on the Pocomoke. And while we're out at the Oak Show in Pennsylvania, Drew Moore here, he checked in with us and he got his first largemouth of the season, an 18-incher that he caught on a lake that he's not telling us where, someplace in Pennsylvania. We've got plenty of indoor opportunities for you this weekend. Um, taking a look at the weather ahead for the weekend, um, if you're looking to stay indoors, on Saturday, March 5th from 9 to 6, Tackle Direct's Clearance Canyon has 50% off sales on St. Croix stuff. That's on Saturday from 9 to 6. They're at 6825 Tilton Road in Egg Harbor Township. Farther up in the North Coast, Berkeley Striper Club has their big Fisherman's Flea Market on Sunday, March 6th 
from 9 to 2. That's at Tom's River Intermediate School North. That's right off of Parkway Exit 83. You'll find many of the, uh, the Central Coast and North Coast tackle shops, Fish Heads, Fisherman Supply, Real Seat, Dock Outfitters. Of course, s, &S Bucktails will be there, Angry Fish, NJBBA, and Grumpy's here. They'll be there. Now, I mention that because the weekend forecast, we had a good start to this striper season on Tuesday, but this weekend, possible snow on Friday, Saturday's highs in the 30s, uh, more precipitation is anticipated on Sunday. Um, so if you want to get indoors, and hey, you can stop in here to Absecon Bay. Dave just got in a shipment of gulp today. He's got to open up the boxes. It looks like he's going to have plenty of spring specials in here as well. We are in this, the home stretch, though. March 1st is here, and we do have stripers being caught. So make sure you get out there and get on the action. Until next week, you can go over to thefisherman.com. Keep busy there. We're going to have the update later this week in terms of what's happening with black sea bass and summer flounder in New Jersey. And be sure, of course, to pick up your March edition of the Fisherman Magazine. We're celebrating 50 years this year, 50 years of the Fisherman Magazine. Very exciting. Catch them up, my friends. We'll see you next week. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intelux Marine Paint and Fanatics of Ocean City, celebrating 25 years at the Jersey Shore.